Hello there everyone and welcome to my brand new Fables and Fauna YouTube channel. Well, I've made some YouTube videos before, but this is my first shot at doing a time-lapse art video. So if you guys have a coloring book or you like to color, pick up your markers or your colored pencils and just feel free to color along while I go at it too. So because this is Fables and Fauna, this tortoise and hare are my mascot characters. Their names are Abel and Anna. Isn't that cute? And you can see how I mapped out all my different Copic marker colors and made little notations so I could remember which color was which. Um, so that was me just finding out the basics of the color. And uh, as the video goes on, you can see that I... I play around with it just a bit more. These are the the line art that I'm going to color, as you can see now. <laughs> um, so this is Anna. She's a energetic little bunny. Um, she's like the the girly young version of me. Like when I think of childhood Nikki, um, Anna is what I think of. Um, also, childhood Mickey was very shy and introverted, so that's sort of how I have modeled Abel, the tortoise, a little more slow paced too, obviously, keeping up with the tortoise and hare fashion. But anyways, so it's been a, a while since I've been able to really enjoy drawing or coloring, so it was actually really nice um, filming this video, even though this was a bit scary because it's my first time uh, doing an art labs video ever. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy it because I actually really liked it, making it. Um, so the reason why I haven't been able to sit down and, and enjoy drawing was because I'm, I'm finishing up my last project which was making my children's book, Amelia the Flying Cat. I'm sure um, those of you who have backed the project, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It went up on Kickstarter um, just a few months ago, or was it a month ago? Man, <laughs> feels like such a long time now. Um, but I was so amazed to see all the support from everyone who backed the project, and I'm just trying my hardest to make the book turn out as beautiful and amazing as possible, so every backer, you know, they're support and uh, believe in me is well worth it. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been working on. And, and right now, what I've been doing for these coloring is I've been just doing the flat tones uh, first. I'm going to go back and do the, the shading later, but I really love how that water turned out um, for that swimming pool. That was really fun. And I finally got to some Abel um, artwork here. So what I plan to do with these little doodles, by the way, is I want to put them up on Instagram and have a little uh, community challenge sort of thing with hashtag never grow up. Because my original slogan Four Fables and Fauna was never give up, never grow up. So whenever you guys read uh, Neely the Flying Cat and you get it if you backed it, or, you know, you can buy it later if you haven't backed it, um, you'll see that it's very much a never give up story. And pretty much all the books I'm planning are never give up stories. So never grow up, never give up really fits uh, what Fables and Fauna and I'm all about. Um, so anyways... I want to do a never grow up challenge um, and I'll make cute YouTube videos to go with it too but basically I want to dare people and perhaps you guys if you're interested to accept the dare to um, to play and what I mean by that is you know just like access your inner child again go wear a tutu in public go uh, blow bubbles at people and make them smile. Go draw on the sidewalk with sidewalk chalk. And I feel like it's 
something that a lot of us need to... Um, sorry, my cat was scratching at the couch. Okay. Anyways, um, I feel like it's one of those things that we forget to do, or when we grow up, it's like you're embarrassed to do those things, which is ridiculous. Like, all those things are so much fun. Kids have all the fun. And we complain about, you know, these adulthood responsibilities. Well, guess what? You can still act like a kid anytime you want. So, and also, of course, these are, they would be really fun dares for kids to do, too. Because, uh, to, truth be told, they'll be better at doing those dares than we will. <laughs> um... Oh, so right now I'm adding in the shading, and uh, you can see that this is the part I don't really know how to color. I'm like playing around with different uh, shades, um, a gray, a blue, right there I was using, I think it was called Pink Flamingo. Um, but yeah, that's something I, I struggled with the most in this, but by the end I think I really got the right one, so can't wait till you guys see that part. Also. You'll see that the line art is black. I have uh, basically learned how to draw by inking black line art. That's always what I've done. I'm just used to inking line art, drawing through lines. That's the basics of cartooning, right? So one thing I really wanted to do, because I feel like black is such a harsh, dark color, very contrasty, and uh, for kids stuff, having those light pastel tones just feels so much softer and friendlier, and that's something I really wanted to incorporate more, so whenever I saw the black line art, I was like, ah, I want to soften this up. So I've been dying to try a, like, dark brown instead, like a sepia tone. Um, and here's the end of recording this video. I finally got um, some a brush pen and a high tech C um, pen to ink with. So I get to that later in the video too to see that. But look, I finished it. Hey, I skipped a drawing, but <laughs> I think it turned out really good. Nice and simple, super cute. And these will be fun dares. I'm sure you can kind of guess what they'll be. And for, for Abel, they weren't going to be never grow up dares. I was going to give him a never give up chat. But I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments. But anyways, here's the pen I was talking about. That, oh, I love it so much. Um, the brown line art. And it looks so much earthy, too, which is where my brand has been, like, going in the direction of whenever I think fables and fauna, I think forests for some reason, too. So um, I feel like the brown is perfect. I was experimenting with using navy for a while. Um, but, yeah, the brown, I feel like, will go with a lot more things. And I wanted a reddish brown, too, to contrast the mint green that I always use with my brand. But anyways, I digress. Um, I'm color nerding out. Um, by the way, if you're wondering what glove I'm wearing, it's a compression glove that you can just get at Michael's or any craft store. And um, it helps uh, with the circulation in your hand, but I like it because it helps me move my hand across the page easily. I'll link that and all my other uh, materials in the description down below. I went and colored this one over here to sort of play with the shading tones some more and because I had forgotten to <laughs> color it. Um, that little tool is cool because you can see how it softens the edges of the blush on our cheeks. It's uh, the colorless blender of the Copic markers. Um, it's it's really nice and handy. So right here, I'm testing out colors, and I, I go with this pink flamingo again. And um, it looks pretty good, but um, I like the, the last one I used better. But yeah, back to Amelia the Flying Cat. Um, if you haven't 
back the kids book no problem because it'll be coming out this fall and I'll have plenty of copies to sell and you guys can check it out then. Oh look how that turned out. They're so cute. Um, I will be drawing a lot more of Abel and Anna and hopefully putting them on this YouTube channel in a story format, which is something else I need to play with because I haven't really done that before. And in fact, not a lot of people do that much storytelling on YouTube either, unless it's like really cheesy. You know what I mean? Um, so let's see if I can figure out something here. And oh, what a relief. The colors look so great with that brown line art. See the comparison to that one? Oh, I'm playing with different uh, shade tones again. I went for a dark green. I was using the frost blue, a light blue color, but I feel like the darker green looks better. And I used the same color from Abel's Shell to uh, do the shading on Anna, and I felt like made it so much more cohesive. Simplifying that color palette just really brought it all together. Ah, oh, I love it. I'm so excited. So out of all the drawings, this one's my favorite. I hope you liked watching this video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up if you liked it, and hit subscribe if you want to see more. There will be lots more art time lapse videos like this one, and I plan to do more storytelling posts because Fables and Fauna is all about telling stories. Thanks so much for watching. See ya!